Hello guys, hello world. So today I wanted to show you how to um, install um, the Joomla, or how to fork the Joomla framework and uh, extend it, and uh, also how to run the unit tests, uh, the PHP unit tests for the framework. So there's actually like absolutely no documentation on this that I've seen. So I wanted to I've wanted to do this tutorial for a while. Um, okay, one thing I'm gonna tell you right away is I'm going to be using PHP Storm for a couple of reasons. One, it's just like really an awesome IDE and two, it makes this process super, super, super simple. Um, you're going to need Composer to install some of the features that uh, are needed in order to run the, the unit tests. So unless you have PHP unit already installed and you have Composer installed, I'm kind of going to go all the way from scratch. The other thing I want to bring up too is that um, um, you're going to need to have git installed, which you probably already do. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and let's just check out, uh, from version control from GitHub, the Joomla framework. And I'll put Joomla framework three on here because I've already cloned it, I think twice already. So, uh, let's go ahead and clone it and it'll take a few seconds. <clears throat> Usually it doesn't take more than a minute, so if it takes more than that, then um, you probably have done something wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Oh, there we go. So that was quick. And we just go, yes, it opens up the framework. We see we have all the files here. So the other thing, too, is um, if you don't have Composer installed, you can go into PHP Storm and just add Composer. Um, I already have Composer um, set up on this, but it's not that hard to do. You just click this button and pick a folder, or I should say click this link and pick a folder to download Composer into, and uh, and you should be good to go. Uh, there's nothing else to it, and you, you can choose your composer.json file by just navigating to it, which in this case, it found it for me. There it is. So Joomla framework, composer, uh, dot JSON. So, and I'll show it to you right here on the project files. It's, um, right here. So I already have composer installed. Um, uh, so the only thing I have to do, and there's a, there's a shortcut in PHP storm, but, uh, let's see, it's under tools. You can do, uh, uh, run command. You can type in composer. And uh, you see that uh, PHP Storm actually gives you some of the command shortcuts already. It kind of does a quick search for you for all the commands for Composer. Um, there's nothing much to this except that you will need to do two things. One is you'll need to copy this PHP unit.xml file and change it to PHP unit xml click ok <clears throat> leave that there for now and then come back in here and uh, start composer actually before we do that excuse me we need to go into composer and we need to add two things in order to run our, P our php unit tests um, we'll need to include the php unit library and one other dependency or one other extension to the to PHP unit and that is uh, the DB unit extension so in the require section of your composer.json file you'll just add a comma and I will have this on the website on the blog so but you'll need to include PHP unit 3.7 um, dot whatever and um, PHP unit, DB unit, 1.2.3. So, and this is because uh, P, uh, the DB unit, the next version higher than this, supports uh, PHP, it, it requires PHP uh, 5.4. And I'm running PHP 5.3, which is what the Joomla framework runs on right now. So, um, you'll, I'll have these two little code snippets on the blog, you can just copy and paste them. 
and be on your merry way. And there really isn't much else to it. You just run um, composer update and that's it. You could run it from the command line as well. I mean, you could just come in here and I have this little extension for PHP Storm that just opens up the command line right into that full, uh, directory and just run composer from there. But I do it from in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it. <clears throat> and we'll start seeing some output here. Loading repositories with package information. And a few more seconds. And we should start seeing updating dependencies. And you'll see that it's installing uh, Symfony, YAML, and uh, some other PHP unit um, extensions. Almost done. Now I'm running PHP Storm 6.0, so it's the latest release right now, and uh, it just it's going to make this process really really easy for us. So it's almost done installing everything. Maybe a few more seconds. Is it done? Nope. There we go. And I'm not going to add these to Git. So there we are. We're all done. So now to run our unit tests, it's really, really easy. Just right click on your phpunit.xml file and you just click um, run phpunit.xml. All right. One thing I have to do is tell it which PHP version to run, what uh, files to include, and there we go. That should be it. Uh, let's go ahead and click run. It should work for us. We see that our tests are running. And we see that we're running 200. Well, there you go. Quite a few. So a little over 3,100 unit tests. We see that 14 failed. Okay. And so a lot of these tests actually fail. And you'll see why. They fail because we don't have the uh, PCNTL extension installed. And we don't have it installed on my computer because I run Windows. So um, if I was running on uh, a Linux box, then we could install that and finish all these tests. So it's just something to keep in mind. If you're on Linux, then um, I might still create another tutorial so we can install that extension and then um, run all the unit tests. But this should be good enough to get you started. Um, so um, if you have any questions, drop me a line, check out uh, the, the Joomla uh, forums or whatever, but this should get you started in extending um, the Joomla core framework. So I hope, I hope it helps and uh, I will catch you later. Cheers.